Hey guys, so uh, I'm back home right now. That's why the scenery is a bit different. So uh, bear with me on that. So this is going to be a bit of a different video today. Um, obviously, we all know about uh, the sad news about Robin Williams. Obviously, I think we all are affected by this in some way because Robin Williams' mass body of work and also just his gift as a comedian and just him as a human being. So, in a tribute of sorts, I thought I would talk about my favorite movie of all time, which is Dead Poet Society, and explain why it's my favorite movie of all time. In case you guys aren't familiar with Dead Poet Society, it's about um, an all-boys boarding school and a specific group of boys who are in the same English class and they have a new English uh, teacher come in and that's Professor Keating, played by Robin Williams. I've explained this many times to friends and family, but I will explain it to you why Dead Poet Society really means so much to me and that's because I watched it at a point in my life where it just really hit me. I watched it when I was in middle school. I think I was in about seventh grade. And I was just going through hard times because middle school is a horrible place. I think the movie as a whole got to me because it was one of the first movies I saw that did a lot more than just entertain me. It made me think and it opened my mind up. Uh, to new ideas and to obviously great performances and I think it was really the movie that got me want searching out movies that made me feel this way and I think it's why I've decided to review movies so I related most to Ethan Hawke's character, Todd, who is uh, a new arrival to the boarding school. He's really shy and doesn't really speak in class and is generally soft-spoken. And that was basically me in middle school. So uh, automatically I was able to relate to him. And probably one of my favorite scenes, there are a bunch of amazing scenes in the movie, but my favorite scene is... Um, when uh, Professor Keening uh, is having everyone read out their poetry assignments in class. And um, Todd has tried to write a poem, but keeps crumpling them up. And when Professor Keening asks him to share, he said he doesn't have a poem. So he brings him up to the front of the classroom and basically gets him to recite a poem from just spontaneously and Professor Keating was just able to help him along to come up with this really a beautiful piece of, of poetry that he taught is able to come up with. So while I was able to relate specifically to Ethan Hawke's character Todd, um, Professor Keating, Robin Williams, was you know, that teacher that you wanted to have, you know, and I've had a couple teachers who have like, you are, you have bits of Professor Keating, you're good. And it's, it's a testament to Robin Williams as, and as an actor, because while he does have his funny moments in the movie, um, because, yeah, I think all good teachers do have to have a, a sense of humor, and, I mean, he's Robin Williams, so he has to, you gotta let him be funny, but when it comes to those you know, emotional moments, he really, he really got them down. And of course, and there's the ending. And again, if you guys haven't seen it, I don't really want to spoil it for you because it's it's better to see it than to have someone explain it to you. But um, I mean, for those who have, you'll know what I mean. And yeah, I. I think people who aren't English teachers tend to think that the movie maybe glorifies poetry, but I think it's a lot more than that. I mean, poetry is used as a way to, as a way that these young men like express themselves, but it's all about 
carpe diem, seizing the day. That's the main phrase of the movie. That's a phrase that Professor Keating introduces. And it's really an amazing thing. It may be cheesy at times, but I think the overall message and the events that happen in the movie, they happen for a reason to make the message even more impactful. And for me it was, for someone who was going through tough stuff like that, it just got me through a lot. And that's why it's one of my favorite movies. <sighs> this is tough to get through, but it's gonna happen. And it's, it's the message, it's how relatable it was, and it's also the performances. And Robin Williams had a big part to play in that. And I will always thank him for giving me that movie and for giving me Professor Keating. So that's my sloppy tribute to a great performer and person. And let me know what you think about Ted Poe's Society. If you love it as much as I do, or if you don't, it's fine. And in terms of celebrating his, his life and work, what is your favorite Robin Williams movie? Please comment below and uh, say why it's your favorite. As always, this little tribute comes to a close. I just want to say thanks for watching it. And thanks to Robin Williams for giving us so much. Even though, obviously, you weren't given enough in return. And just thank you for everything. Farewell, Professor Keening.